Well, good afternoon. It's Tuesday and it's the first day back after the bank holiday. It's pretty, been a busy one. <laughs> so, uh, including myself, we've had six vans out today. Um, three of them were delivering to the same site in Northampton. That went swimmingly. Absolutely fine. Not an issue. Everyone dropped this morning. Easy peasy. I took my job, I had the choice obviously of doing a couple, uh, because I thought it was going to be the biggest pain in the ass. So my job was deliver to London some steelwork and some boxes, wait for them to have all their deliveries from multiple places, wait for them to unpack everything, and then bring all the cardboard and pallets back. I was on site for about two hours. And I did it at a bit of a discounted price. Um, because obviously every now and then I like to help my customer out. And do some stuff for them a bit cheaper. Because they pay me a, a really good amount of money. And then there was the other two vans. Which was Andy P at Parks Parcels. And David from Purple Bee Logistics. And these two lads uh, loaded last week. And we're delivering this morning to Swansea. And they, they, they got on site. Well, David got there a bit earlier. But they're both on site at nine o'clock. It's now half past three. And they're both still there. It has been a nightmare. So, obviously, with some of the jobs we do... You, we require access of other people that own land. And today, well, the farmer that owned the land didn't really want to give them access. Apparently, they had all the paperwork to prove that it had all been prearranged and they were allowed to go onto that site today through the farmer's field. And they've got four before that have been waiting there since before David and Andy got there. And the riggers arrived a bit late. We expected to be offloaded once the riggers arrived but no then the farmer arrived and he was not happy so the farmer is currently at the police station trying to get them removed from his land even though they have permits to be there uh, all due to an incident that happened 20 years ago with the same site and this farmer is just a bit disgruntled uh, but obviously it's his land and he has the right to kick people off uh, Andy and David are currently offloading onto a uh, quad bike, sorry, the trailer, which is the ATV that's been booked um, to take all the gear to the site because the riggers have gone onto the site. Um, so, yeah, it's been an absolute well, nightmare <laughs> for them to, anyway. Um, Andy and David. Saints, they've not been migrating, they've just been giving me updates. Um, they know they're going to get um, waiting time, and Andy's even offered to bring all the rubbish and cardboard back and everything because he's coming back anyway. Uh, so, to be fair, they've probably over doubled how much they're getting paid for the job in the first place now due to waiting time because they've been there all day. And like I said, it's half past three. They've been there since nine o'clock. So, what's that? Six and a half hours. So six and a half hours of waiting time. Um, but yeah, it sounds like it's been an absolute nightmare of a day for them. So that's, I really appreciate both of you. Neither of you have moaned. I know you're getting a bit annoyed towards the end because you've been there for so long. And you've still got a three and a half hour drive home. So I hope you take it easy and uh, Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm on my way up, and I've got to be in Exeter in eight o'clock tomorrow morning. So, woohoo! And it's looking like the week might be picking up a bit, and next week might also be picking up a bit, which is very good. So yeah, um, things don't always go to plan. And Andy's ringing me now, so I need to get a call. Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe. Bye-bye.